Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. <clears throat> so I got this question from Joe about comprehension. Oh, this was a good one to talk about here. He says, uh, Dear John, I believe I first heard you, of you when I watched Pluralsight video series you made about X and A. That was a long time ago. That's uh, If you want to check that out, you could you could check it out here. Uh, my, you can check out all my Pluralsight courses. But I did this Pluralsight course on X and A. That was fun doing like game programming. I love game programming. I wish I could do that all the time. I guess I could, but uh, but yeah, but I got bigger things to do right now. But someday I'm gonna write a lot of games. It seems like fun. <clears throat> anyway, I stumbled across one of your YouTube videos and I've been watching ever since. You have some great insight on how to have a better successful life and it is all very interesting. I'm a computer science major and I have landed an internship this summer. I love improving on my skills and learning new things. Taking simple and new concepts and building on them is so enjoyable to me, which leads to my question. When it comes to learning new materials through technical reading like comp sci textbooks or some online resources, I have a huge difficulty understanding the content. When I start reading, there are just uh, these huge walls of text and I can't get past them. I lose focus on where I am and forget what the previous sentences are even talking about. It's a huge comprehension problem. On the flip side of things, when I read items like focus tutorials or documentation slash examples for Android programming from Google, I don't really have the same problem. I'm able to take the concepts, learn from these, and expand on them and have a great time doing so. I know that when it comes to industry work, we're probably, there probably won't be some straightforward, simple examples that I can look at, especially when it comes to topics like code design. Uh, this means I need to get better at reading these more technical materials. Are there any tips and tricks you can recommend to help improve reading comprehension for these types of manuals? I want to know because I want to be able to keep on improving my skill set so I can make greater and better things. Thanks, Joseph. So Joseph, man, colleges really screw people up. Uh, traditional education, ugh, it's so, you got it backwards, dude. It's just, it's, it's the opposite of what you think. Those technical manuals, those computer science textbooks, it's a bunch of crap. I mean, I don't mean to like, you know, be totally like that. There's good information in them, but in general, like a lot of the people that write those computer science textbooks, they're they're not they're not writing them from a very practical or pragmatic perspective. Yes, you know, understanding a lot of the the concepts, you know, yes, having uh, you know a a quote computer science background is useful to you, but that like learning from a textbook and manual is not the best way to learn by far, right? W when you said that you know, reading tutorials and documentation, it, you actually learn better, that's true. And that's good, that's how the real world works, is the real world doesn't work by reading some technical manual and then you, you know, you have to comprehend that and then, and then do your thing. It works by like, you look at some code, you go and you find some documentation, you find a tutorial and that's how you learn. So the thing that's already working for you is what you're going to be doing in the real world and that's what you should focus on don't worry about the textbooks as soon as you get out of college you know throw those things away because for the most part they're going to be irrelevant to you i'm not saying again for those of you that have your you know cs degree hanging on your wall and you're so proud of it you know don't don't get all butthurt about this there's some value in it right i've got my cs degree i went back and finished my degree but you know understanding data science and algorithms and and sort of the the core of computer quote real computer science is helpful but in general being more pragmatic and being able to look at code and tutorials and documentation on actual code and apis and implement that is going to be a lot more valuable so then the next thing here is as far as reading and comprehension so i don't know if it, it sounds like you haven't taken a look at my 10 steps to learn anything quickly course because i cover exactly what you're talking about here so if you haven't you know if you're watching this check out 10 steps to learn anything quickly you can check it out here you know i, I go through a 10 step process that basically solves joe's problem here which is basically i say look don't read i mean i think one of the very first things i talk about is the idea that reading a, a book cover to cover is not the best way to learn it doesn't work, right? I used to do this a lot. Instead, the best way to learn is by doing. So how can you get to the point of doing very quickly? So, and also taking one resource is, is not the best way to learn. So, you know, to give you kind of an overview of what the 10 steps program, of, you know, that I used to learn anything quickly. And I, and, and I didn't just like make this up, you know, just, oh, here's a good way to learn something quickly. I implemented this from actual practice, from learning like programming languages literally in a week and then teaching a course on them 
I'm not even kidding, right? Again, you can look at my Pluralsight courses and you can see I've got like 55 courses there and 30 of them, over 30 of them that were published, I actually did 36 that year, were, were done in a single year, right? And so I learned a lot of complex topics and taught those topics and that's where this process came from. So I'm gonna give you kind of the short of it and some of the basic ideas of it. If you want to, you can check it out some more and, and get, get, get some more details. But basically it, it works like this, right? It's like, you gotta know what you're trying to learn, you gotta know the scope of it, you gotta have some reason for learning it, right? You don't just like learn stuff to learn it, you got some reason, I'm trying to build something, I'm trying to do something, I, I've got some some purpose, right? Because it, without that, it's gonna be harder to learn, It's gonna because you, you're not gonna know what to hold on into your brain, right? And, and, and your brain works like a goal-seeking machine, so you need a goal. Then you're gonna need multiple resources, right? A lot of people try to learn from one book or one resource, and that's not good because it gives you a limited perspective and, and you don't see repetition, which tells you what's important. So you gotta get like multiple resources that you're gonna to gather together and that you're gonna learn from. Some might be documentation, might be people, might be videos, might be tutorials, might be a textbook, that might be part of it. But anyway, once you got that, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, you're gonna pare down those resources, pick the best ones essentially, and then you're gonna learn by doing. And, and I go through the process of how to do this, but essentially you're gonna be jumping in, you're gonna be actually doing stuff very quickly, playing around, answering your own questions as you play around, and then going back to the, the resources as a reference to answer those questions to help you to gain that deeper understanding. And then finally, you're gonna teach this stuff to someone else, because if you don't do that, you're not gonna fully understand it, you're not gonna find the gaps in your own knowledge. And that's, that's kind of the gist of it, I go into a lot more details in the program, if you haven't gotten it already, I recommend it because I think that, you know, I think the best, the most important skill, when I do a talk on like the most important skills for software developers, it's the ability to be able to teach yourself and to, to learn how to learn. And that's what, uh, unfortunately, a lot of college, a lot of traditional education teaches us the opposite. They teach us how not to learn. They teach us how to be fed information, memorize that information, and and to to rely on someone else giving it to us or telling us what we need to learn where where life is not like that you know it, it gets more extreme you know just getting into into the real world you're going to find just in a development job that you're going to be learning like you're going to be teaching yourself and no one is going to know the answer and you're going to have to figure it out and you're going to have to be looking at examples of code and and, and, and really figuring it out on your own. There's not gonna be some set of books that you're gonna qualify you to now do this thing. You're gonna, you're gonna figure that out. And then especially as an entrepreneur, I've learned there, there's, not even a, there's not even a map, there's not even a path. No one's, no one's gonna tell you anything. You gotta figure it all out on your own in which direction to go. So getting this skill is really, really important. You know, again, I don't mean to like totally bash college, but I do because it's it just infuriates me that a lot of colleges and you know that that claim to be authorities and academics that claim to be so smart have so such little practical and pragmatic advice and, and tend to be gatekeepers it's you know what really ticks me off about it it's it's the fact that it's like telling you kind of putting limits on you and telling you you've got to go this way you've got to go this route or you've got to be quote qualified and thinking that that they're qualified when when really life is not like that at all it's about it's about what you can do and and figuring it out on your own and going through and 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 not reading a textbook it's about going in and just diving in and saying hey anyone can do this i'm going to figure it out and pawn forward and that's how you learn and that's and sometimes you're going to fail along that path because it's not going to be perfect but that's how you get there so Anyway, Joe, great question. Uh, you know, I, I wish you well. Definitely don't don't stress about learning the textbook, you know, side of it. Uh, you, you you have to do that to get through college. Do that. You know, learn figure out what you need to learn about about that in order to get, to get through college to get your piece of paper. But then you know, realize that the real world it's going to be going through tutorials. It's going to be teaching yourself. It's going to be pulling from multiple resources and it's going to be just experimenting and playing around and figuring it out and realizing that there is no authority. There's not someone who's such an expert that they know it so much better than you and that you have to listen to it, hang on every word that they, they say. Instead, it's going to be about you figuring it out, deciding what is important and what works. And, and you have full reign to challenge the experts because there's no one that has a monopoly on information or knowledge or wisdom 
you know, it's, it's all, all subjective. So again, I'm giving you probably more than, than what you were, were coming here for, but, uh, but I hope this helps you. There's just, uh, this mindset. I think that, that a lot of colleges, a lot of universities and schools kind of impose and, and students that really ticks me off because I, I don't, I don't know. I don't want you to be limited. I want you to, to see more options there. So anyway, Joe, hopefully this helps you. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you next time.